Welcome back my friends for another quick little reloading video here. Today I'm going to show you my preferred method right now of reaming out a primer pocket crimp. Now see I'm trying to load some 5.56 and this says Lake City 100% and that's a stinking lie I tell you what. What we have here is a dang old crimp up in the Lake City. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of these for this little batch I'm loading up right here. So let me show you how we do it. So you see here my Lyman uh, case prep centery thingy here and we have our chamfer and deburring tools. Uh, well, I like to use this one here to remount my small primer pockets. What I actually think happened was these were done with this VLD version, which you can see has a much steeper angle than this one here. And actually see this one has a little bit of a break there on the edge, but it's not quite enough for these primers to get seated with the ease we're supposed to have. So so let's kick this on real quick and I'll show you how easy it is to run these through here. We just take our brass here and hold it down for maybe a one, two, three count. Maybe a little twisty at the end. And you can see here we've cut a little bit of that material away. I know a lot of people don't like reaming because it is taking material away which will in turn weaken the primer pocket over time. So I might get one or two less firings if we're running near the top end uh, by stretching out that primer pocket a little prematurely because we removed some of that material. And there you have it, a real quick tutorial on reaming out your primer pockets. You can, of course, do it by hand if you only have the hand tool, but it's a little easier if you got it up on the case prep center or maybe perhaps a hand drill. Either way, it gets the job done. That's going to do it for now, folks. Thanks for hanging out, and we will see you in the next video. Have a good one.